back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about VPC mechanics. So VPC mechanics is basically how things are running behind the scene in the AWS data center. Uh, you must be knowing that AWS hosts thousands and millions of customers across multiple regions and availability zones in various data centers, right? And by RFC 1918, I mean, it is bound to happen that customers have overlapping CIDR blocks, uh, private IP CIDR blocks. So probably you are running a VPC of say 10.1.0.0 slash 16. There'll be other hundreds of other customers who will be running that VPC CIDR. So how does AWS manages when you initiate a connection from one EC2 instance to another EC2 instance in your VPC? How does those things happen? We'll look into that in this video. This is our scenario. If you look at, we have a physical host in AWS, somewhere in AWS data center. Let's call it PH1. And we have another physical host. Let's call it PH2. And we have one instance in physical host one, which is instance A and one instance in physical host two, which is instance B. And these instances are in our VPC, suppose VPC XYZ. So the scenario is that we want to initiate traffic from instance A to instance B. So let's see how that happens. For that, uh, I wanted to tell you about this mapping service. So AWS runs a mapping service in their data center. So this mapping service is basically, you can think of a database which keeps a record of all the EC2 instances, all in fact, all the resources running in that data center based on their uh, basically VPC IDs. So this is, is, it's actually a very complicated thing to describe mapping service. But once we'll start with how how the data flows then probably you will get an idea so when instance a wants to go to instance b uh, currently doesn't knows its mac address right so it will send an arp request which is captured by this hypervisor here and what hypervisor does is it goes to the mapping service and confirms whether this instance b exists on this vpc mapping service confirms yes, the instance B exists on this VPC and it returns basically the MAC address of instance B and the hypervisor in turn returns a synthetic response to instance A. So you see the ARP request never made out to this, uh, the other host. It was handled over here with the help of mapping service. Instance A is ready to send an IP packet to instance B. So the IP packet has basically instance A's IP as source IP, instance B's IP as destination IP. And also the IP packet is encapsulated with an ethernet header, which has a instance A MAC address as the source address and instance B MAC address as the destination address. Now this packet is basically uh, transmitted and again captured by this hypervisor. So what this hypervisor does is it again goes to the mapping service. The mapping services mapping service for the IP address of the physical host, which is running instance B. So what mapping at what mapping service will do is it will return it this IP, the phys, IP address of this physical host. Once this hypervisor get the IP address of the physical host, it encapsulates the packet with two more headers. First one is the VPC header, which has the VPC ID. And the second one is basically an IP header again, which has the IP address of this physical host, which is 192.168.2.2. Now this packet is put on the AWS network and then it reaches the physical host B. So let's see what happens when the packet reaches the physical host B. Once the packet reaches physical host B, these headers are inspected by the hypervisor and this hypervisor now goes to the mapping service to query whether this pa the packet which is coming from this host is actually coming from instance A, whether this instance A exists on this VPC. Once the mapping service confirms that yes, the instance A exists on this VPC with this VPC IDA, uh, basically what hypervisor does is it uh, rips off the headers and then transmit the packet to the instance B. 
puts the packet on the ethernet of the instance B and this is how your uh, transmission completes from instance A to instance B so for us it's I mean it doesn't appear that this the process is going behind the scene but in actual this is the stuff which is happening behind the scene uh, AWS actually has uh, uh, what do you say uh, Optimize this process so now there's I don't think there's a central mapping service running instead there are mapping caches which are running on each physical host so every physical host has basically a copy of mapping service runs it running on to their uh, physical host so now instead of instant instead of going to a central mapping service they can query it locally so this is this is what they have done to optimize it that is why it doesn't appear to take any time there's no latency basically when you transmit suppose you transmit a file from one server to another in your vpc so this is how the uh, transmission is happening behind the scene in vpc and this will be our backbone going forward so now that you know how the traffic flows probably we can go ahead and start digging dive and digging deeper dive into the aws networking so I hope this is this was useful for you and please follow please subscribe to the channel and like the video and if you like if you can press the bell icon as well so thank you for watching